I sort of revisited like the mystery of fiction and just really tried to like write a sentence and then write another one and not guess where it was going to end up. Decades ago, when they were still a family, her parents dragged her to Litchfield to see an albino cow with green eyes. When they finally got there, the cow was sleeping. They left and went for lunch, and when they returned, the cow had fallen into a coma. But I need to see its eyes, Loretta had wailed. When did you start writing? Probably all writers do this. Like, you know, make stories with, like, dolls <laughs> and, like... Um, my mom talks about how when my brother would play with blocks, he would like build a tower, but I would like put the blocks like in like a circle and be like, these are the students, like this is the teacher. <laughs> um, and I remember like my brother would have this like huge tower uh, out of constructs and I would have these little like Legos, but like I like the cleaning woman of the tower was like in love with a different character. <laughs> like yeah. really like at a young age, I think. So there's always just like some sort of narrative going on. Yeah. yeah. And then it got like way more intense with Barbies. Oh yeah. Those were like these like really long drawn out like soap operas me and my friend would have. And you know, you've been doing a lot of screenwriting. So has, has that influenced the way you're, you're writing your fiction now? In fiction, it's fun to not have everything, um, like avoid exposition, you know? Mm -hmm. Like not think like, oh, of course this character, you know, not try and like kill two birds with one stone sort of. Yeah. Um, whereas in screenwriting, it can be like, well, this character's sort of boring, this character's interesting, we have too many characters, let's combine these two, make them mm -hmm. one, like um, it feels, uh, a bit more efficient or utilitarian. Yeah, or something. yeah. It's true that like outlining can save you a lot of time, yeah. but it can also like maybe streamline your experience and make it less nuanced and bizarre, like the way you arrive places. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm sort of working in a few different ways at once. Yeah, I guess that's the fun thing in fiction. You can kind of just explore. And if you can like surprise yourself with your writing, then it's a lot more fun and it's a lot more interesting. And, you know, that often involves like creating characters you've don't you've never met or yeah. writing people who are not like you. Um, are you still surprising yourself with your writing? Yes. Yeah. But it's hard to remember the surprise because then you have to read it a million times yeah. so something i'm really into that i tell like all my students to do is um i print out my drafts and i read them by hand and anytime i like a line i underline it i check mark it i write about that i i write any positive feeling i'm feeling i write it down um because drafts later it's really hard to have that same feeling. And so I want to remember, like, you a month ago loved this. You're just bored of it now. Don't be too critical of it. Well, thanks. thanks very much, Rachel, for coming in. My pleasure. Again on being on the list. Thanks so much.